last player that we uh ended up signing over the weekend we talked about him as well this dude was in a little bit of a bidding war you said it was with the browns and the cowboys if i remember correctly it was a uh, luke barco so um luke played in the xfl he was with the san antonio brahmas actually with uh Hans Ward, Peasy, and them down there. He initially played with the Jaguars, if I remember correctly. Had a couple games with them. Um, and he's San Diego State, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But I like Luke, though, man. He did not come to our mini camp, but the XFL was legit. When you talk about watching him play, you can cut on tape and see him play versus, you know, NFL caliber or guys that have flirted with the league. So it was good to see that. But the thing I like about Luke is I think he has really good vision. Um, when you're watching him, he's one of those guys that he likes to see the football. Reminds me a lot of like a Marcus Peters type. Um, athletic, I think he's more quicker than fast. Uh, really good when he's in off coverage because he's able to literally read and react. He, he, in terms of his anticipation skills, I think they're really good. I think he's extremely competitive at the catch point. And... Like I said, man, just his ability when the ball is in the air to feel confident and comfortable to be looking around and actually playing that football. That showed up a lot on his uh, XFL tape. And that is something, like I said, man, if he can continue to do that at a high level, that's going to get him an opportunity. And that's ultimately why we're giving him a chance and why some other teams wanted him. Because there's times when you're watching him, I'm like, bro, that's that's a high level play you're making. I don't care if it's XFL. I don't care if it's college. Like you doing that type of stuff that's that's coveted at this level and that's why i was like it gives me kind of marcus peters vibes but like we know what marcus peters that's a deadly game to play when you're real you know eyesy you like to see the quarterback eyes in the backfield not always on your work you gotta be buttoned up because for luke he doesn't have the same level of cachet as a marcus peters so he's not going to be able to get the same level of grace if it doesn't work out for him like we've seen at times with marcus peters when it doesn't work out but i definitely like luke though man i feel like he's gonna be a nice addition to just compete in that room um it's funny because he's different to me than a james pierre like pierre is like in your face man to man more of a marcus P uh marcus humphrey type or marlon humphrey type whereas when i think of this luke barco dude i'm like you're more of the marcus peters you're more of the let me get off see everything yeah man. he had nine trust picks in college yeah trust my because his ball skills are nice bro like you watch him he's down that yeah that field. was just one year he too he led the ncaa up. yeah he's like i'm trying to see where that ball is like he's almost like a receiver and like i said it's dope when it's working it's dangerous if it doesn't because you're not staying in contact with that receiver. You could have natural separation. If you miss that ball, it's a touchdown. If it's a pump fake, you know, slug or not a slug, but a double move, you can really get in trouble with that. But for him, it's been working, you know, when he was in college, it worked. And then obviously in the XFL this past season, it was working for him. So 